Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing reading for Sign of Aquarius, and keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Aquarius. If you'd like a personal reading, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. I repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You can also find much other things there in the description. Uh, you can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there, and a bunch of other things there on my Etsy shop in the description down below. You can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. If you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate your donations here. So, Aquarius, let's see what spirit has in store for yourself. Already. So we have the Prince of Swords, we have the Queen of Cups, we have the King of Pentacles, we have Earth, we have Water Elements here, we have the Three of Wands, we have the Seven of Swords, we have the King of Swords, which can count as your own card, whether you're male or female, it does not matter. We have the Five of Swords here, and then we have the Seven of Pentacles, so we see that of bears, we see that of butterflies, moths, birds. Okay, Aquarius. I feel like here, I feel like you're in your own element, to be honest. King of Swords being there, but I also feel like your heart. You're connecting more with your heart here. You see that? Your heart. It's been opened here. It's also been stabbed, but it's been opened here, Aquarius. All right, and it's connecting more with nature. It's going to, I feel like there's going to be a bunch of things springing here. Okay, you understand when, when things just spring to life, like they're just gonna be like this boop. When you connect more with nature, Aquarius, go out more in nature. You're gonna connect more with yourself here. You're gonna be awakening here. You could be so much life is gonna be filled within you if you just go out, interact with trees or dirt or whatever, animals, the birds. Um. But yes, even going out at night here with the Seven of Swords, we see the stag. We, you know, the white stag is actually quite symbolic here. It's quite holy. Aquarius. Connecting with all those elements there is really going to help you. It's going to open up all your chakras here. You see all these colors? I really feel like that. Like there's something outside for you. We have a lot of spirits there. A lot of spirits wanting to connect with you, Aquarius. The moon. The birds. The earth. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Princess of Pentacles. The Four of Swords. And the Nine of Cups. Two of Cups. We have, oh, okay. We have the Four of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Aquarius. This is quite interesting here. All right. I see that you're connecting with this swan here a lot, Aquarius, this white bird. Showing up there, but like, like this. I feel like you're being guided here, Aquarius. You're being guided here towards the next steps to take, towards the places to go to here, towards the mountains here. We have the mountains, the rainbow. Okay, maybe you're even trying to get there, okay? Feels like you are looking at it, Aquarius. You're heavily connecting with yourself here. 
I feel like there, there's something you're being guided here, Aquarius, towards that. But you're also being guided how to get there, how to, the steps to take, the offerings to make here, doors to open up. Nine of Cups. We see all those hearts being there. Okay. Fish here once again. Alright, but I do see spirits quite heavily connecting with you, Two of Cups, Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles. There can also be that of like love there romantically, but I feel like more spirits are around you, Aquarius. Okay, even when you're sleeping here, they're around you. Everyday life there, they're just around you. Okay, and they come in the form of animals here as well, Princess of Pentacles. Once again, you're being guided here, okay? You're being guided here towards your wish fulfillment. We see the dove there, the dove there, okay? It's one. That feels like because your heart has opened now. We have the Hermit with the Six of Swords. Aquarius, so this might this reminds me of like that whale and orca elder card. Like a different deck which you are connecting to here. Okay. It really feels like here, like you are getting a lot of spiritual knowledge here, you're being guided here, you're being led the way, and you're also leading other people towards their ways here, towards their spiritual journeys here. Six of Swords. The Five of Wands, Knight of Wands, we have an Empress here, we have a Lovers, oh but we have the Devil, Queen of Wands which is that of Fire, we have the Star which is your card, we have the Hanged One, okay Aquarius, so we, we have someone here with a lot of Fire, this could be you if you have fire in your chart, or this could be a person around you. You have the Queen of Wands, Empress, Knight of Wands, Five of Wands. Okay? Very fiery person, Phoenix the Bird, just connecting with the element of fire quite heavily. Okay? They're merging as an Empress here. Okay? In a star. We do have that of love here. We have a love. Okay? But I feel like either either this is a person around you kind of awakening a lot of their fire, awakening a lot of themselves, merging as an empress here, transforming, or this is you, could be applied to yourself here. Once again, we do have that of a love, Aquarius. We have Capricorn here. Devil. Love with a Capricorn. We have two souls here. With the angels bringing in love, bringing in, look at that, we have the dove once again, butterflies. We have the fool with the moon. Okay, so we have the ravens, we have the birds, we have the wolves, we have the pyramid or sand. I'm not sure exactly what that is, which one. We have the owl. Okay. The birds once again. So, connecting with the moon here, Aquarius, and manifesting with the moon. Each of its cycles here, there's something here you're bringing to life. Okay, something here you're bringing into your world. You have the ace of swords. You have strength. Be that of Leo. See, there's an infinity symbol. There's a heart because your heart's open. Now you're able to manifest here. You're able to manifest with the moon more. We have the three of swords. Okay. Ace of cups. Eight of swords. We have the knight of pentacles. We have the seven of wands. Heavily connecting with the lion spirit here, Aquarius. Okay. Or the lion just in general. We have the chariot. In the chariot being here as well. Alright. Aquarius. So you're... You're connecting with a lot of spirits here. 
like I said, spirits are moving you forward. Okay, the chariot, the lion, Aquarius, but they, they, you have, like, yes, you've been stabbed in the heart before, but you have spirits here with you, look at that, with you, bringing in the new, bringing in what fulfills you, bringing in your desires, see your, there's a rainbow, there's a lot of happiness, there's a lot of, you know what I'm saying here, bringing in the pentacles here, they're just bringing things in, they're manifesting here with you. Aquarius, they're moving you forward here. They're trying to make you ascend. They're trying to move you forward. Aquarius, I'll bring you strength. But look at that. You're able to manifest with them there. Seven of Wands. Okay. Manifesting with the moon. Wherever that moon card went. But let's get some runes and some charms for yourself. these two dragon lovers, one being fire, one being water. Okay, so we have this moth, which you're connected to. The moth is connected to the moon, which you did see the moon earlier. Alright, we have the stars on it as well, Aquarius. Moth is a spiritual initiation, transformation, awakening of psychic gifts and abilities. Okay, which we did actually see some moths here on these cards, which feels like this is this is what you're connecting to. And I see you whenever you see birds, you're like, oh my god, there's those birds. Let me go find, find them. <laughs> That's why I was laughing earlier. Aquarius, but either way, um, you have the dragon, which you're connected to the dragon here as well. Aquarius, dragon beats Chinese zodiac sign of the dragon. Dragon be power, strength, good luck, prosperity, supernatural powers. We also see the rainbow on it, which we do see rainbows on these cards. Rainbows can be that of ascension, the opening the chakras. Rainbows, you know, rainbows are positivity. Aquarius, obsidian, which is a protective stone. I don't remember if I said that actually. Here, yeah, we have a lot of changes happening with inside yourself. There's a lot of movement here happening with inside yourself here, Aquarius. A lot of awakening here. Okay, a lot of connecting, Aquarius. Connecting with the spirits, connecting with the nature, connecting with yourself, okay? Being led, being guided. All right, but we have a lot of justice here as well. This is justice actually with inside itself. You understand? And it's positive. So, that's all I have for you. And like I said, first link... In the description down below for a personal reading. Also go to my Etsy shop. Go on there, go buy something. Really appreciate that. And if you want to see more content, like subscribe. Bye guys.